so, so long we discussed about good health and how what are the types of diseases from good health how do we maintain good health that is by eating a balanced diet so a balanced diet a diet that includes all the essential nutrients that is carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals roughage and water then moving on to diseases which are of two types that is communicable diseases and non communicable diseases so communicable diseases are disease that's spread through germs that is from one infected person to a healthy person and what how does it spread that is through air direct contact animals equipment etc and how we can prevent the communicable disease is by maintaining personal and community hygiene the next is your non communicable diseases that is disease that cannot spread from one person to another and it is because of the lack of nutrients in our balanced diet and what are the nutrients what are the diseases and symptoms and what are the sources of food that we can intake to prevent the deficiency diseases today we are going to talk about safety and first aid so after good health the next comes safety wherever we may be wherever we go we need to see that we are safe safety is the most important priority and in case of any unusual happening how we can what aid we can do to to prevent it that is the first aid before you reach a hospital what first aid could be given to a person that has met with an accident or any unusual happening so safety and first aid accidents we know occur or caused by carelessness so by not being careful and are usually preventable say for example a child takes a knife in his or her hand it is always good for an adult to remove it immediately and not just look at the child and just leave it so that is carelessness so we can pre prevent accidents from happening by being extra careful or cautious most accidents can be avoided by following certain basic rules of safety so we already seen that accidents can be prevented and how can it be prevented is by following certain basic rules of safety so safety and first aid so we know that accidents are mainly caused by carelessness and are usually preventable and most accidents can be avoided by following certain basic rules of safety so the first so next is talking about first aid in spite of all care being taken to avoid accidents they still do occur even though we are extra careful and we try to prevent yet sometimes accidents do occur often patients suffering from serious injuries are saved because of the immediate help they receive before they can be taken to a hospital for example a person falls by accident into water and is drowning and is saved first aid should be given before he is taken to the hospital and we see that most patients survive because of the first aid that is the immediate help rendered to them before they are taken to the hospital or before help arrives in the form of an ambulance or a doctor this on the spot immediate medical help is called 
first aid so first aid is nothing but immediate on the spot medical help is called first aid so first aid is in spite of us taking extra care to avoid accidents still it occurs and we find that sometimes or mostly patients suffering from serious injuries are saved because of the immediate help they receive before they come to before they are taken to a hospital and this on the spot immediate medical help is called first aid so safety and first aid so accidents we see are caused by carelessness and are usually preventable and most accidents can be avoided if we follow certain safety rules first aid is though care is being taken to avoid accidents still certain accidents happen and often patients suffering from serious injuries are saved because of the immediate help they receive before they are taken to the hospital this on the spot immediate medical help is called first aid